I'm at a gypsy. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it's something that I know just from like, I mean, I don't know the first time we met, but like from knowing you for a long time, like I could always mm-hmm. tell that like that's how you had your sh- set up. And it was, uh, I guess people don't realize that maybe if they're not a rider that goes through the ups and downs, mm-hmm. like there's definitely a thing that happens with riders where like your phone will hit when you win and then it'll just be ghost town when you don't win. And mm-hmm. then it's, it's yeah. so visible. And I don't know if people that, cause there's a lot of people that have your number or there's a lot of people that you've replied to on Instagram that like, you'll see a DM and it's like, I yeah. don't even know mm-hmm. if those people realize how obvious it is for guys like you when you do see a person come or go or like throw out a comment. I know, uh, I know the other day, uh, I'll just, I'll just say a lights rider had some fucking troubles and then it was just like people were piling on publicly and then privately like, Oh, you know, I've just got to say that as part of my job and this, and it's just like, fuck all that. But that's how kind of fickle the industry kind of is. And you just saw it like a, a long time ago yeah it's it's still tough because i gotta ride that fine line you know and it's uh it's you can't be completely honest yeah really realistically can't even though i feel like these guys have vlogs now and they're like giving you an insight to their life and they're like completely uh it seems like they're being transparent and I think they are more so than what they used to be. Yeah. But I don't think I don't think that you could be fully yourself. Never um, just because, <laughs> like, dude, if you ever said that you like are having a hard time, like mentally or anything like that, it has to be like Epstein Barr, or you have to have an injury, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Because if you said you're having a problem mentally or something like that, people would be like, "Damaged goods. He's not mentally stable." He's not going to be able to handle championship situation, (laughs) but bro, you're a human at the end. Yeah. You're a human at the end of the day. And, uh, that's something that our industry doesn't allow, but you gotta, I understand this is that at the end of the day, these companies invest into you and you're an investment, you know, and dude, think about this. Like if the stock market goes crazy, people are be, be buying um like gold and silver to make sure they're mm-hmm. good, you know, because they're like, Ooh, red flag, you know? And, and I understand that like dirt bike companies, they're like, Oh, mentally he's having a hard time. Ooh, red flag, you know, invest yeah, your money yeah. elsewhere. <laughs> yeah. So it, it, it is the tough truth, but it's just how the world works, you know? Um, which sucks. It really, yeah. it really sucks. But, um, yeah, it, it sucks that we can't be fully honest, but at the same time, um, we have goals that we want to accomplish and that's why we kind of keep it the way it is. And I don't yeah. think it'll ever change. It'll change nah. somewhat, but it won't fully change. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. And I mean, it is just the nature of it. Like, dude, imagine, imagine the podcast we could have if we were fully, fully, fully honest. <laughs> like there's stuff that like, we can't, we literally cannot talk about, you know, and it just yeah. is what it is. Mm-hmm. It's stuff we'd fucking love to talk about, but it's just, yeah, the world, mm-hmm. the world that, that we live in, maybe like retirement, fuck you money, you know, actually have a full podcast, bit, you know, <laughs> talk mm-hmm. about all that shit. But, but I guess that's why, with all that being said, it is so important to have the kind of friends around you that you do have. And one thing that I've noticed in my own life or like a way that I try and explain the friendships that I have is who Mm -hmm. are the people around you that don't have a ceiling for your success? Because there's a lot of people that it's like, they want you to do good, but not better than them. And it's like, do you have any of those people in your life where there's any little hint of red flag of them kind of playing down your success or kind of having these hints of jealousy or kind of stifling your ideas? Because like, you know, internally, you're like, dude, this would be fucking legit. Like I could fully pull this off. And then someone gives you like, yeah, yeah. but you know, so if you've got those people around you, then like that's that to me is like the ultimate friend red red flag. Then I know, you know, with like Sammy, that motherfucker wants me to get, get it as much as possible. Yeah. And, Mm -hmm. and his happiness and his self-worth and his value has zero 
there's like zero of himself riding on my success and like my brother's the same yeah. and there's people that i have in my crew that it's like i could be as fucking big as as whatever or i could be as small as whatever they're going to treat me the exact same way yeah it dude to be able to find friends that are selfless like that is really really tough uh you know just true like kind of ride or dies and they're just like they just be pumping you up whether and and never never knocking you and i feel like our industry has a lot of people that act selfless Mm. but they have a motive you know and um that's what you gotta you got you gotta search through you know and dude you come into that stuff at 16 at 16 you're dealing with with these people that are like dude you're hitting you hit puberty barely by the time you go pro you know you're you're discovering what you know what life is all your friends they're partying and going to college and you're expected to be an adult and be training you know there's so much that goes into being successful just as far as life goes and 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 you have to deal with those friends, you know, that you don't yeah. think they ha- really have the best intentions, you know, and then you have people that you think have the best intentions, but really they have a motive. Um, but, um, yeah, luckily I've, I've been able to work through that. You know, I've definitely came in contact with people that are like a little, yeah. like, mm, su- a little sus right there, but you <laughs> know, luckily I've been able to, uh, you know, shuffle through.